New York City was just bombarded by COVID as most of the world knows now. Everyone was doing something to help. And they asked if anybody wanted to help in the ICU. I am an OBGYN. So I said, please, is there any way I can help? Is there anything I can do? And I heard that one of the main areas that was in need of help was informing families on what's happening to their loved ones in the ICU. Over and over, they said, please let us just have our loved one hear our voice. That's when Dr. Mark Schiffman and I went to a local kid store to find a speaker that connected to a cell phone app. Then the app could be given to the family and they communicate directly through the speaker. There are many instances in medicine where we know that the sound of a loved one's voice can decrease rates of delirium. It allowed families to all of a sudden be the ones in control, initiating conversation when their hearts were telling them to connect to their loved ones. We realized that hardware was a limitation and now it's an app on a phone. You just type in voice love, you can download the app and that will give you a special channel code and you can text that channel code to anyone in the world. They then open the app, enter that channel code and it's immediate connectivity. I love you, mommy. I miss you so much. We had people whose loved ones were going to pass and they couldn't come in person, but they could play their loved one's favorite song as they passed. They could read them their favorite book as they passed. They could have loved ones from all over the country sing to them, you know, as they took their last breaths. People at home never feel isolated again. I want immediate connection with unlimited people anywhere in the world at the touch of a button. Voice love can be useful. So I, I just hope people see it as, as accessible and easy to use as we've designed it. It's limitless. It's as creative as you can be.